It was cold, wet and dreary in old Galilee. Gary in Mandem was hopping with glee, which was rare as he normally sulked all day long, so to see him so happy just looked really wrong. To snap Gary out of just being a dick must be the result of a pretty good trick. Whatever it was, he no longer looked peeved, but content in the glow of what he had achieved. And soon the extent of his mischief was clear. A few months ago, our Gary, oh dear, had gotten a man known as Joseph so pissed that he got him to turn anti-natonist. He got Joe so sloshed he was violently sick and happy to go to a shady clinic. What he didn't know was that he, during that trip, ended up getting sober, but also the snip. So Gaz was elated, yet almost demented, as he thought Christianity had been prevented. With Jesus removed, he thought he could do well, and Aeon might become a much easier son. But God thought, You bastard, I'll have you for that! Tricking poor Joseph, that gullible prat. If you think that that stunt will scupper my plan, you silly old bastard, you just think again. So God sent old Gabo, the angel of death, with a vial and a plunger to do IVF. And while she did not know what could be the matter, Joseph's wife Mary got fatter and fatter. And soon Gary saw this and stopped having fun, as he worked out what that sneaky god must have done. Well up yours, he thought, as Mary got fatter. If you can do tricks well, then I can do better. So he went down to Joe's in his trusty old banger and poked at his wife with a rusty coat hanger. Despite his incompetence, he did succeed and happily left after that dirty deed. And thus Gary ruined, by being so mean, a perfectly decent nativity scene. No longer a picture of bliss and of joy, it just ain't the same without that little boy. Mary and Joseph are staring forlorn at a crib that is empty as no one was born. So sad that they don't even hear Gary scoff. Fuck Jesus, that lad is now much better off. The oxen did hear him had bucks the walls. Too scared to attack, he has not got the balls. Yes, there's a Gary with ill-disguised hate. I know that you are the one who got me spayed. Gary, however, did get his reward when the sheep all went feral and ripped out his heart. From his stem cells, they did make a new embryo and got Mary and Joseph to have one more go. And lo and behold, Mary got big again and we all know how that bit of the story ends. This prequel to that story was never told, but now you all know how that came.